Located in Elk Grove near Jesse Baker School is a nonprofit organization called Project Grad. The people who work there provide recreational therapeutic horseback grading for students and adults with disabilities from throughout the greater Sacramento region. Many of the students who attend Project Dread are from Jesse Baker School, which is a school for special need kids. Project Dread stands for Writing Instruction Designed for Education. Project Ride was built in 1997 by the generous support of the community and has 36,000 square feet with a classroom, administrative offices, and 10 stables for the horses. In 1998, Sacramento County leased Project Ride 52 acres of ranch land so that when the horses were not in service, they could have a place to stay. Hi, I'm Lorena Gutierrez in Project Ride in Cal Elk Grove, California. I'm here with Tina Calaccini, and today I would like to ask you some questions. Great, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So what do you do with Project Ride? Um, my role with Project Ride is the executive director, so I get to play with kids and horses all day long, and um, I have the most fun of any job of anyone in Elk Grove. Okay? Okay. So I make sure that all of our bills are paid, and that I have staff, and that we have a board of directors that helps us raise money, And um, but my main role is to make sure that the kids who come here um, all of them having a special need, have fun, and, and stay safe while they're learning how to ride horses. What made you want to join Project Ride? I grew up next door to a lady who had cerebral palsy, and there's, I have a large family, um, there's eight kids in my family, and as we came of age and got old enough to be able to help her, her name was Frances, um, we, we all took turns taking her downtown to get her medicine and taking her to the grocery store. And um, because she lived next door to us, we saw her often and she was not able to help herself um, with her hands or her legs. Uh, she was able to speak and she was very funny. And um, one day I came outside and um, she had a sack of donuts in her lap from the little bakery in our town. And a whole lot of birds had attacked her bag of donuts and they were trying to eat them and trying to get them off of her lap. And because she was unable to use her hands, she wasn't able to help herself and they were all over her. And I know that's kind of a scary story, but it struck me then that um, I was very lucky to be able to use my own hands whenever I wanted them and whenever I needed them. And to this day, I don't like birds very well because of that whole story, but um, it made me realize that there's a lot of people in our world that need help, um, that aren't able to do the things that we take for granted. And so that made me want to help somebody that was, um, that was in, unable to do that for themselves. She was very scared, and um, there was no one else on the street. It was just her and I, and I had to be brave and, uh, and go and help her and rescue her donuts. So <laughs> that's why I decided to do this. So that happened when I was seven years old, and I didn't do anything like this until I was much older. So. Now here I see there is four stoppers, what, and there's numbers right here. Why is the numbers? The numbers are on those because it helps us line up our lessons a little bit better. We know which horses can use E2 that fits them around their bellies because all of our horses are different sizes. Um, so all of this tack, it's called collectively, collectively, some of it is English and some of it is Western. There's two different styles of, uh, of leather tack. And so those are all numbered so that we can tell our leaders who come to get the horse ready that Poncho can fit into E2's English saddle and to W4's Western saddle, and he's able to use both of those, and then we put them on a list so that when somebody comes to get Poncho tacked up and ready for his lesson, they know what will fit him, just like you know what clothes belong to you by the size they are. Oh yeah, there's a handprint over there on the ground. Uh, like, I'm wondering if it's why it's there. Is it a little teeny tiny handprint? Uh, I think, Is yeah. it real small? Um, that handprint was made about seven years ago um, by one of our riders who was born able to see and lost her vision. Um, so she has no light perception at all. So in her head, because she was, I believe she was two and a half when she lost her sight, she was just learning her colors. She was just learning about the sun and the trees and the birds and the things that are all around us and what they look like. So in her mind, she now has a picture of that, but she lost her sight. And she happened to be here the day that we were pouring concrete. That all used to be dirt out there. And she wanted to know what the concrete felt like. Um, she could smell it. She could hear everybody smoothing it out. She knew that there was something different going on in the barn. And so we allowed her to put her handprint um, in the concrete that day. So her name's Brianna, and that will stay here with us always. So she still rides with us every single week. Okay. Yeah.
the kids who come and ride with us don't have those same opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's hard for them with their special needs to remember where they're supposed to be and have someone get them there. And, you know, sometimes they can't remember the rules to a game, so they might not get a flyer in their backpack like you guys do to go to cheerleading or dance or soccer. Um, so this is a program that's made just for them. So mm -hmm. they can ride on their horse each time, and however well they do, it's their best every time. So that's kind of special for them. They don't have to remember any rules. Um, every time they come, it's different. So that, that's another thing to remember. So they need money to ride, and we need volunteers to help them. And those are the two, two biggest uh, contributions that they can make to us. Hi, I'm Shelby Lawton, and we're here at Project Ride with Susie Lawton. What do you do with Project Ride? I do a lot of different things here at Project Ride. Uh, I do a lot of administration work. I help get our volunteers that work so hard to help us here. Um, I do the scheduling to make sure that everybody comes in and um, is able to spend some time with us. And I do some promotional events as well, so I kind of help out with our fundraisers. And I do phone calls. Sometimes I talk to the parents um, to do some scheduling for lessons. and. Um, I do all kinds of really fun things here, and I kind of oversee the barn sometimes, trying to look and see how the stalls look, make sure the horses are nice and clean, make sure our volunteers are doing okay, make sure the lessons are going well. So I do a lot of different things here. Why do you feel Project Ride is important? Project Ride is so important to our kids because it gives them the chance to come and do something really special that a lot of other kids don't get to do. Um, some of our kids are not able just to go see a movie or go to the mall or do a lot of things that we take for granted. So when they come here, they get a chance to control a 1,200-pound animal um, that a lot of people couldn't control. And it gives them to be gives them a chance to be something special for a change. And um, it's just a lot of fun to watch the kids riding too because they're the hero when they're up there on that saddle and the parents kind of get a chance to see their kids having fun. And it's just a wonderful opportunity to see all the little miracles that happen every day. Hi, I'm Sasha here in Project Ride with Lauren Bender. Hi, I'm Lauren Bender. I'm the PATH International Instructor here at Project Ride and I work mainly with the Jesse Baker school kids during the daytime and I have a few private lessons in the evenings. What has been your greatest challenge working with Project Ride? My greatest challenge working with Project Ride is getting to know each kid and what they specifically need and basically coming up with different ideas and adapting the games towards their, um, their learning level. How much time does it take for new riders to face their fears and improve their riding? It depends on the kid and what they have and how scared they actually are, but it could take anywhere from, you know, a couple days to even six months. It really just depends on the kid, and I try and make them as comfortable as I can, but um, a lot of them that have started at the beginning of the school year who are scared are about now are sort of not as scared anymore. and. They're not saying that they're scared, so we've been working on it. What made you want to join Project Ride? Well, I've always loved horses and working with kids, so I went to school in New Jersey to specifically to become a therapeutic riding instructor. That's always what I wanted to do, so I went to a special school for it, got all my training, and then came to Project Ride, and it's been fun and my dream ever since, so it's been great. Could you tell us a little bit more about PATH? PATH is the Professional Association of Therapeutic Riding International. What kind of like disabilities to do your kids have? It can be anything from as mild as ADHD to vision problems um, to as severe as cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, um, autism is a really big one. Um, there's some also some very rare ones that a lot of people haven't heard of, like Angelman syndrome. There's a whole list of them, some of them I can't even pronounce that are really rare. Lessons take place inside Project Ride in the arena. Students are usually 3 to 60 years old. Project Ride has a special volunteering program over the summer for 16 to 18 year olds. Lessons are year round, they range from 4 to 12 weeks. Lessons cost $20 for each half hour. So do kids only ride indoors? We actually have a trail outside that wraps around our whole facility. And we have buildings out there that people have made for us. And we have some fake trees and things like that. 
So we like to, you know, play games out there and get out there whenever the weather's nice to give them a change of scenery. And I also like to hide some beanie babies out there on the trail that they have to find as they're riding along. Are there any last thoughts that you would like to give our viewers? Yeah, I just think that if they haven't heard of a program like ours before, that they should go and check out local programs and, you know, get into volunteering because, you know, once you start, it's kind of addicting and it's really, really fun to work with the kids and the horses and get that kind of experience. It'll make your day, trust me. At Project Ride, they truly harness the magic to change lives.